Hello, this is Second Quest, and today we'll be playing Zelda Wand of Gamelon. This is for the Philips CDI. It was released in 1993. Again, I'm Second Quest, and I will absolutely not be talking during any of these cutscenes. Please enjoy. Zelda, Duke Onklad is under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But Father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the Triforce of Courage to protect me. If you don't hear from me in a month, send Link. Impa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the King will safely return. Enough. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh boy! I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok! <laughs> A whole month gone, and still no word. I'm certain he's all right. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! Wake up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom. Absolutely classic. All right, we have three areas that are open to us at first. Aru Anu, we have Kobitan, and we're going to stop first in Sakato. Here we go. I kind of love this game. Here we go. All right, first off, we're going to travel back and forth from one end of the screen to the other, collecting some rubies. Not rupees, rubies. And along the way, we're going to do a couple of things. The path that I take isn't always the most efficient path, and that's because we're going to look at 100% of all cutscenes in this game, so I will be going out of my way once in a while to look at cutscenes. This will also not be a deathless run, as the controls can be pretty tricky, but I do my best. All right, first stop, we're going to talk to this old lady on a couch that's knitting. Hello, dearie. Oh, just a minute. Isn't it lovely? Bring some fairy dust and I'll make it a magic cloak. Just the stuff of nightmares. It took me a while when I first played this to figure out that we could go through this window, which is what we're going to do now. There's not much we can do, but there is a spot here where we can find Impa. She's in this building where boats are made. I don't know, there's wood, car wood shavings all over the floor. I don't know why Impa's there, but she is. Let's talk to her. Do you see anything? Yes. Oh, my. Your father has been captured. What about Link? He's been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. Okay. So now we know that there's been a terrible fight. We don't know what happened. And the king has been captured. It is up to us, Zelda, to save him. And him. All right. Nothing else to do in this area right now. Um, we can get the Arpagos egg, but then we would be missing a cutscene. Um, there's a couple of areas in the game where you need to... You can miss a cutscene, so you need to make sure that you're doing it in the correct order. Alright, head back to the first building, and that would be the shop. But in the meantime, kill enemies and collect rubies. Arpagos are those flying, pterodactyl-looking things. All right, enter the store and talk to the shopkeeper. Course I'm on your side, but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. The rubies, eh? All right, grab one of each for now, bombs, rope, and lantern oil. Sorry, Zelda. Not enough rubies. You'll have to wipe out a few more gorillas to get that. 
All right, when you strike a Triforce, it brings you to the main map. So we're gonna strike this Triforce here, and our next stop will be to go get the Lantern. In Kobe Town. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I pronounce it the way I pronounce it, Kobe Town. All right, you're gonna see some Moblin. Your shield only works when you stand still, so that's why I stand still there to uh, not take damage. And then we're gonna walk up to this building all the way to the left here. All right, this area can be tricky, but if you follow the way I do it, you shouldn't get hurt. And here we have the lantern. All right, this house over here, the door is locked, so we need to get a key from the, uh, the barn looking thing up top. So we're gonna go there next. Enter and fight this, this crazy thing. Rope, hit, rope, key. And again, we entered this area first, Kobe Ten, because we need to talk to um, the kid that's in this house. And if we talked, if we wait till we have the Arpagos egg to talk, we'll miss a cutscene. So enjoy this cutscene. I hope it was worth it. Those darn Moblin have eaten everything. I give anything for an Arpagos egg. It was just so worth it. All right, we're gonna strike this Triforce. The goal of each stage is to find the second Triforce. There's always a Triforce at the beginning. You need to find a Triforce at the end, and that opens up a new area. We're going to go to Aru Enu now. To get the shroud that scares the raps off Gibdo. Which is necessary for us to complete Cicado. Watch out for the hogs! This hog here can kill you really fast, so just move along, let it go. And then go into this TP. Here you'll find a Dodongo. We just can't wait to bomb some Dodongos, so let's do just that. Bomb. Now that we have the key, the, um, the house at the other end of this was locked, so that's the key to get in. And here we go. Everyone ran when the Gleok came, but monsters know better than bothering me. Here's a shroud that scares the raps off Gibdo. Zelda looks so happy <laughs> in that scene. All right, Taikogi Tower was unlocked, but we are going to go first to Sakado and finish up some business. We'll be coming back to Sakado quite a few times in the run. Uh, mainly for the shop, uh, but there's also a couple of um, inhabitants that are not there right now that will be once we save them. I'm gonna come to the shop and get a couple of extra items.
the real items here are um, rope and lantern oil. Bombs, you don't use that much because pretty soon we're going to be getting a power glove. And a power glove pretty much does what the bomb does. It costs a few rupees, but we don't have to go keep coming to the stores. Did I say rupees? I meant rubies. Sorry. All right, we're going to stop in this house, and we're going to get the magical sword. Yes, this early in the game. Alright, there's the sword, and it is going to completely refill our health, and then we're going to immediately die. Alright, now we're going to exit through this door. That's how fast you can die in this game. There's no, there's no post-hit invincibility. I right, drop down to the floor and exit through this door. Again, if you die three times, you will game over and you will have to exit the stage. Um, I will not be gaming over in this play, so it kind of counts as deathless. Game overless. This door uh, is locked. Later in the game, the baker will be in there. We'll get some bread. All right, and now we want to go to the other part of Sakato through this window. All right, in this door, we can get the Arpagos egg, which that kid wants in Kobe 10. We'll get that. The jumping can be very tricky. Um, this room, it's very easy to die quite often in this room. I'm gonna grab our rope. Got lucky there, Arpagos Egg. Make our way back down and go through this door. Next place we want to visit is a graveyard. Of course it wouldn't be a Zelda game without a graveyard. And yes, this is a Zelda game. Grab our bombs. Boom! All that's in this graveyard is a key, and that's all we'll be needing. Just grab the key, and then die. Which is convenient, it brings you back to the beginning of the area. We didn't have to walk back. Uh, but if we die one more time, we do game over. We don't want to do that. For the dead shall rise, and the living shall be their slaves. She must be stopped. Surprisingly, not the scariest cutscene we've seen so far. Alright, hopefully, uh, hopefully there's a way to scare the raps off Gibdo. As you can see, the magical sword you can shoot when you have full health. Gibdo touches you, you pretty much die immediately. So we want to take out the shroud and scare him dead. The shroud! No! It's gone! And strike the Triforce.